In 1870, the California legislature created a state agency, a board of fish commissioners, to curb abuse and introduce new species like striped bass. But the commission could not forestall what had already emerged as yet another bonanza, the salmon runs of the San Francisco Bay watershed. The Sacramento River, we don't appreciate it now, but it was you know, like a little Columbia. It, it, it was a huge salmon fishery. The most diverse salmon runs anywhere in the world are in this system. In terms of the number of races of salmon that would come through, winter run, spring run, fall run, late fall run, and steelhead would come through this, sturgeon came through this system. In both 1880 and 1883, fishermen netted an astounding 10 million pounds of salmon in the upper reaches of the estuary. You could literally string gill nets completely across the river and get almost every fish that was coming in. The early accounts suggest there is enormous wastage of salmon coming into the canneries. Um, people just didn't think that this was a resource that had any limits. By spring 1884, 1,500 boats serving 21 canneries lined the Sacramento River awaiting the next run. It never came. One of the greatest salmon fisheries in the world collapsed. By 1900, commercial fishing inside the bay was approaching an exhausted end. Populations are 1 20th what they were, noted the preeminent fish biologist of the day, David Starr Jordan. In order to meet demand at the canneries lining the bay, fishing fleets were forced to range ever further outside the Golden Gate, some as far as the distant waters of Alaska. In the 21st century, only one commercial fishery survives in the waters of San Francisco Bay. The herring fishery is a specialty fishery. The roe or eggs are a delicacy, not in the United States, but Japan. This is their first choice, the golden roe of the San Francisco herring. What we want to do is lay the net in front of the school. They flush back and forth with the tide. After a period of a week or two, they're ready to spawn, and then they hit the beach. And that's when we do our catching. And the herring is, is gone. The spawn is going on. It's kind of like the game is afoot. And, and uh, you know, if you're quick and if you're crafty, well, you do good. For a number of years, herring were the most valuable fish, single species fishery in California. And it was interesting, you could walk along the Embarcadero and, and see commercial fishermen again in the bay, making a decent living. The herring fishery along San Francisco's waterfront is the last commercial fishery still operating within the boundaries of a major city in the United States. And the last remnant of the once abundant fishery of San Francisco Bay.